Bond doesn't know you're in Bangkok. He's never seen you, but he knows me. That's the problem. There's no problem. Another one bites the dust. Uh, welcome back to Life Love Shopping. If dinner and a movie factors into your weekend plans, this is the perfect time for a movie date. 007 is back, and Hollywood is wrapping up an election week by honoring our 16th president. Abraham Lincoln has asked us to work with him to accomplish the death of slavery. No one's ever been loved so much by the people. Don't waste that power. This fight is for the United States of America. Daniel Day-Lewis stars as President Abraham Lincoln during his final months in office. In a nation divided by war and change, Lincoln pursues a course of action designed to end the war, unite the country, and abolish slavery. Lincoln's choices during this critical time will change the fate of generations to come. Sally Field and Tommy Lee Jones also star. Lincoln will expand to more theaters next Friday. And Bond is back, baby. This time he's made a hobby out of resurrecting. What do you say about a man like that? Three months ago, you lost the drive containing the identity of every agent embedded in terrorist organizations across the globe. 007 reporting for duty. Where the hell have you been? Enjoying death. I only have one question. Why not stay dead? There's no shame in saying you've lost a step. Bond's loyalty to M is tested in Skyfall as her past comes back to haunt her. Now 007 must come back from playing dead and track down the threat to M and MI6, no matter how personal the cost. Thanks to a new Q, Bond is upping his game with new high-tech gadgets for his latest search and destroy mission. Happy 50th birthday, Mr. Bond. The Jackson reaction, both flicks are worth the full ticket price. My first choice would be Bond in Skyfall. It's right up there with Casino Royale. Your guy will love you too for it. And I recommend giving yourself a breather from all the politics before you go see Lincoln.